These are the assembly instructions to my How About a Pie pop-up card. First, I'm going to show how to fold the mechanism for this one. It's a little bit more complicated, so this is the one in the file, but I've made a larger one just so that I can show how it goes together. I'm folding down on these vertical score lines. There are three of them. And then with the last score line, I'm going to keep it folded down, and there's a diagonal score line that runs across. I'm going to fold down on that diagonal score line, and then fold again, folding it backwards like so. And so that will create a little triangle at the top here. So you've got the vertical line, and then you've got two diagonal lines like so. Then there's a score line here between the curved piece and the panel on the side, and I'm just folding down on it. So with my index finger from the back, I'm just pushing on that middle score line on the triangle, and then just folding that piece down. This triangular piece folds forwards like so. So next I'm putting glue straight up from the point so this little notch here, I'm glue straight up from that point all the way along right to my score line and I'm going to fold this piece over. Now, when I collapse that center triangle, it brings that piece over like so. So when it's installed in the card, it does that rotating motion. And so that's how this mechanism goes together. So we'll start with my card base. This is 80 pound cardstock with a score line in the center. I'm just folding down on that score line. Then I have my decorative panels. So these panels make my base a little sturdier. So I have some 80 pound cardstock in green. And then I have my red check. So this is a digital pattern that I printed on 80 pound cardstock. I'm just going to glue those down. So now that I've decorated my card base, I'm going to fold my mechanism exactly the way I showed earlier. So I'm folding on my score lines. I'm going to keep this panel folded down. I'm folding on that diagonal score line forward and backward. So I'm pushing on that triangle and pushing this whole piece towards the front. Then I'm folding down on that score line that's right between those two shapes. I'm adding my glue. I'll put a little bit on the corner here too. That's exactly as I showed before. I'm just going over it a second time. But when I push this triangle forward, it makes this whole piece rotate like so. Then I have this piece and the edge of this piece, I like to call it the Lisa Simpson hair. It kind of fits right on top. So I'm just putting glue just on the three points. So if you imagine a straight line that extends past the cut, you just want everything above that straight line. And you just want to match your shape up on the edges like so. So when it's all folded like so, looks like this and then when you pull it out it rotates. So next I'm putting glue on the tab that's on my left hand side from the score line to the edge. I'm going to flip my piece over so I'm looking at the underside of it. I'm gluing my piece down so that it's about an inch from the bottom and I want the edge of my piece to be right on that score line like so. You want the edge of this piece to be parallel with the edge of your card. And then I'm putting glue from the edges to this diagonal score line and to that vertical score line in that area. I'm just putting glue in that area. And then I'm folding my, my mechanism down. So you want this piece that you've put glue on to be folded underneath your mechanism. And then I'm closing my card and I'm applying a little bit of pressure where that glue is. So it's, I can feel it, it's approximately here just applying a little bit of pressure to make sure that that glue takes. So then when you open it, so now I'm working on the mechanism for the bottle that pops up. I have this strip with a score line at the bottom to create the tab and then 
two score lines on the end that create a triangular shape with the tab. So I have some decorative pieces to glue on top. I'm just gluing my pattern cardstock to my green cardstock. I'm gluing this to the left hand side of my mechanism. If I fold down on those score lines, it fits right within the score lines. And I have my little triangular piece and that fits right here, right beside. I should probably have put these on before I install the mechanism, but so I have these two pieces. It's not too difficult to slip it right underneath. Just like so. And this piece fits like so on the end. So next, I'm going to put glue on the bottom tab. My tab is going to be parallel to the edge of the card, and that little point on my triangle is right on the score line. I'm going to fold that triangular piece flat and I'm just putting glue on my tab and then I'm going to close my card down and apply pressure where I can feel that tab just until that glue takes. Next I'm going to take this little tab. There is a long section at the top and a short section at the bottom. I'm going to put glue on the underside of the long section. So I'm just positioning it at the back of the mechanism that I've just installed. I want it as straight as possible and about a quarter of an inch from the end. So for my bottle I've used silver craft board and I've used some adhesive foil to simulate the cola. So my label consists of a piece of 80 pound cardstock and then a scrap of red foil craft board and I've cut out my vinyl letters that say happy birthday and I apply them to my foil craft board. Gluing my label together, gluing that onto my bottle, tiny little cap which I've also cut out of foil craft board. So now I'm putting a little bit of glue on that final section, so from the score line to the edge. I'm folding it onto itself, so I'm folding the rectangle onto itself and then closing my card. So then when I open my card, it creates a little platform like so. I'm going to put glue on the part that's vertical. And then I'm going to lay my Coke bottle face down Place it pretty much so that the bottom of my Coke bottle is at the bottom of that panel with the glue on it. I want it more or less centered on the panel. Then I'm going to close my card and apply pressure. So open up the card, the bottle pops up. So next I have my pizza. So I'm just going to put glue, Lisa Simpson hair shaped piece, right here, my pizza top like so and I want to close it and make sure that your pizza doesn't go over the edges of your card and then I have my little decorative panel now this panel is more of that 80 pound green card stock more of that white 80 pound card stock and I've used red vinyl to decorate my panel I'm just gonna glue that down and then I have my pizza cutter it's in a black card stock base it's more of that silver craft board making sure that that little lip is where the handle is. This is just regular cardstock. I'm just going to glue that down. There's more room up here. You can make another panel like that for the signature or the uh, sentiment. Now we're gonna work on the cover. The cover is very simple. More of that green. And then this is digital paper made by Echo Park. And I have just um, printed it on 80 pound Cricut cardstock. And then I have the sentiment for the cover. I've used some more of that blue cardstock and it picks up the blue in my patterned paper. And then I have some more of that white 80 pound cardstock and I've used red vinyl again for the sentiment. I'm just gonna glue all of this down, trying to center it as best I can. And then for the back of the card, I like my cards to be balanced, especially when there's a pop-up inside. So I'm going to adhere decorative panels on the back of my card as well.